Norm, sometimes the reborn acuity to our splitter dies off, even though I increase the steam flow to maximum. What's the problem? You know what the problem is? You're stalling out the once through ferrocyphon reboiler. The liquid comes off the bottom tray. The liquid overflows the outlet rear on the bottom tray into the seal pan and then overflows into the drawer off pan. And then it flows through the reboiler and the vapor and liquid come out of the reboiler. The vapor is the stripping vapor, it goes up to the bottom tray and the liquid is nothing more and nothing less than the liquid's bottom product, provided that the bottom tray does not leak. Now, if the bottom tray was a total trap out chimney tray, or if the bottom tray was a bubble cap tray, the following comments I would make would not be appropriate. But in nine out of 10 of our towers, unfortunately, the bottom tray is typically a valve tray, a sieve tray, or a grid tray, a tray with tray deck perforations. Such a tray depends upon a sufficient delta P of the vapor flowing through the bottom tray. And if that delta P of the vapor flowing through the bottom tray is not sufficient to support the weight of liquid on the tray due to the weir height, then the liquid will start to leak through the tray deck. And as the flow of liquid into the reboiler goes down, well, the reboiler outlet temperature is going to go up. And since the steam flow to the reboiler is typically on reboiler outlet temperature control, this valve will then start to close, which then diminishes the reboiler duty reduces the vapor flow to the bottom tray, reduces the vapor velocity through the bottom tray, and the pressure drop of the vapor going through the bottom tray goes down, and since the height of the weir or weight of liquid on the tray is constant, the tray leaks even more, and therefore less liquid flows into the reboiler, and the reboiler outlet temperature goes up further, which then causes the steam valve to close and you get caught up in what I call a positive feedback loop. The operators call this stalling out the reboiler and you can see that this happens because the reboiler outlet temperature is 440 and the tower bottom temperature which really should be 442 is much closer to the reboiler outlet temperature 350 due to bottom tray leakage or stalling out the reboiler. And in this case, opening up the steam valve is not going to help you because it isn't steam you lack, it's process fluid flowing into the shell side of the reboiler that is limiting the heat input to the tower.